Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these two given exponential equations. And I will also show you how to solve these two equations in two different ways. One through standard approach, and the second one is going to be decimal approach. So let's get started with the very first example. We are going to solve this exponential equations, 2 power 2x minus 3 equal to 5 power 1 minus x. And as you can see that we have two different bases. 2 is on the left hand side and 5 is on the other side. And since there's nothing in common between these two bases, therefore we are going to take the log on both sides. So therefore, let's go ahead and take the log on both sides. Let's take log on this side and take the log on this side as well. And now as we can see that on the left hand side, we have a 2x minus 3 is our exponent for 2 and 1 minus x is an exponent for 5. So therefore, we will be using this power rule. This states log of m power n, when we have this one, we can bring this n to the front as you can see over here. So therefore, in our case on the left hand side, this exponent is going to come in the front and on the right hand side, this exponent is going to come in the front as well. And as we can write this one as 2x minus 3 times log of 2 equals to 1 minus x times log of 5. Now let's go ahead and distribute log of 2 on these both inside these parentheses and we are going to get 2x times log of 2 minus 3 log of 2 and we are going to do likewise on the right hand side log of 5 gets distributed as well. So let's multiply 1 times log of 5 is same as log of 5 minus x times log of 5. Now let's go ahead and move this term with the x on the left hand side and this term without x on the right hand side. So we are going to have this one is going to become 2x log of 2. When we move this one on the left hand side, that's going to become plus x time log of 5 equal to, we already have a log of 5 on the right hand side. And when we move this one on the right hand side, become positive 3 log of 2. And as we can see, we on the left hand side, we have a x is in common. We can factor this one out. I can bring x outside and we're going to have a 2 log of 2 plus log of 5 equal to, likewise, just leave this thing as it is 3 log of 2. And now let's focus on over here 2 log of 2. As we can see this 2, we can bring it on this side. That's going to become an exponent of 2. Likewise, this 3 is going to become an exponent of 2 as well by using this power rule. So therefore, this could be written as x time this could be written as log of 2 power 2 plus log of 5 equals to log of 5 plus log of 2 power 3. And as we can see that 2 power 2 is 4 and 2 power 3 is 8. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So that is going to become x times log of 4 plus log of 5 equals to log of 5 plus log of 
8. And now let's focus on this part, log of 4 plus log of 5. We are going to use this product rule. It states log of A times B equal to log of A plus log of B. So we can write this left hand side x time this is simply is going to become log of 4 times 5. We're going to write it as a product equals to we can write this one likewise by using this product rule. This could be written as log of 5 times 8. So this could be written as x time log of 4 times 5 is 20 equal to log of 5 times 8 is going to be 40. And now since we want to isolate x, let's divide both sides by log of 20 and log of 20 over here as well. This log of 20 and log of 20 is gone. So we ended up with just x on the left hand side equal to log of 40 divided by log of 20. And now if we use a calculator we can see that the log of 20 is approximately equal to 1.3 and log of 40 is 1.6. So let's go ahead and write down the value log of 40 is 1.6 divided by 1.3 for log of 20 that is going to give us 1.23 so thus our solution turns out to be x is approximately equal to 1.23 and here is our next example we are going to solve this 7 power x minus 2 minus 3 power 2 x plus 1 equal to 0 and now let's move this 3 power 2 x plus 1 on the right hand side so that could be written as 7 power x minus 2 equal to 3 power 2 x plus 1 and as we can see our basis on the left hand side is 7 and on the right hand side it is 3 and since there is nothing in common between these two bases so we are going to take the log on both sides. So let's take the log on both sides log of 7 power x minus 2 and the log of 3 power 2 x plus 1 as we can see that we have x minus 2 is an exponent on this left hand side for this 7 and 2x plus 1 is our exponent for 3 on the right hand side. Now we are going to use this power rule. This states that if you have a log of m power n then I can drag this n to the front as you can see over here. So likewise I am going to move this x minus 2 exponent to the front likewise this is going to move to the front as well so we can write this one as x minus 2 times log of 7 equal to 2x plus 1 time log of 3. Now if we use a calculator we can see that the log of 7 is approximately equal to 0 0.845 and log of 3 is approximately equal to 0 0.477. So let's go ahead and write down the value of log of 7 which is 0 0.845. I'm going to write that one first times x minus 2 equals to likewise log of 3 in our case is 0 0.477 times 2x plus 1. Now let's go ahead and distribute these decimal multiply with these ones likewise we're going to do this one and we are going to have 0 0.845x minus 
equal to we are going to have 0 0.954x plus 0 0.4 seven seven now let's go ahead and move this term with the x on the left hand side and this term without x on the right hand side so we're going to end up with 0 0.845 x minus this is going to become 0 0.954 x equal to we already have a 0 0.477. When we move this negative 1.69, that is gonna become 1.69. Let's go ahead and simplify these one over here. When we subtract these one, we are going to get negative 0 0.109 equal x equals to on the right hand side we are going to have a 2.167 and since we want to isolate x we are going to divide both sides by negative 0.109 and divided by negative 0.109 so these are gone so we ended up with only x on the left hand side equal to negative 19.88 so thus our x value turns out to be approximately equal to 19.88 and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.